Hello everybody. I don't generally start these videos in the middle of the night, but I thought this time I would just because of the lighting. And the lighting is really everything in this scene. So I've got the first level more or less complete. I went ahead and threw a fireplace in, which adds a lot of ambiance. I really like it. Um, and it actually pretty well lights everything. I do have two torches on the sides of the front door, which I have on the warehouse as well. And yes, I did put doors on there. Again, a little bit of brickwork here with some sloped bricks and a fireplace sitting in there. I will probably take out these three nodes and the node directly under the fire and switch them out to something to be like the hearth. I don't know exactly what. And I might put some kind of a block here. So, like, embers don't roll out of the fire and stuff, which, of course, they don't, but just for look's sake. And, uh, yeah, so we have all of the interior walls here. I didn't put doors on on most of these, but each room has a torch on the inside. And you'll find they're all exactly identical. So, if you want to try your hand at decorating a 4x4 room, by all means, head on over to, uh, the travel net center at spawn and look for the one that says Nathan S21 and then uh, if you go to warehouse that'll be that travel net box right there and you can come in and decorate room oh and then there's this room right here so yeah the rooms are all done uh, I had two torches there but with that fire I don't really need them in the light that spills in through the windows so that's all pretty good I have the floor here and I have a bit of the wall um, and then I put in a protective railing so nobody falls down. Because I figured probably want to avoid any potential lawsuits, you know. And, um, unfortunately my spruce tree has not grown, so I am not in the best of shape when it comes to spruce planks, which is what I'm using for the walls. It's planted over there. It just, for whatever reason, it is not growing, and I don't understand why. But, I don't know, there's really nothing I can do about that. So we are going to replicate the floor pattern of downstairs. So we do that, and we do this. Leaving the opening there, the opening there, that becomes our hallway. We leave one space there. It's really easy, and then this becomes the front wall, so the walkway is two nodes wide up here. And it should be two nodes wide there as well. So we continue that along. We have a room here. And... The wall comes across there, and then a wall right there. So we have our three, four, five, six rooms on the second level, same as on the first. So that's uh, 12 rooms, obviously. And yeah, layout all works pretty good. So I will go ahead and do what I can with the blocks I have here. Um, yeah, I really can't do anything till that sapling grows. And I don't know why it's not. Every other sapling has grown so far. Uh, most of which I harvested and then I did not replant, other than the acacia tree. Because that one was pretty easy to take down. The other trees are all so giant that they take forever to harvest oh and if you're wondering why i have all diamond tools yeah somehow i died i don't know how i don't know what killed me and uh what was even weirder is the little die message that comes up it says my stuff was at zero 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 for the object or the uh the world coordinates 
Which is weird, because I'm at like negative 4,200. I don't know what elevation wise, and I think 1,200 the opposite direction. And I was standing next to my uh, my water tower, or the water fountain when I died. So I don't understand that at all. Something, uh, something bugged in the system. There was a glitch in the matrix. And, uh, yeah, so I lost all my stuff. Fortunately, I didn't have anything too valuable on me. And I've been, uh, collecting diamonds from some mob. I don't even know what the mob is. But when he dies, he drops a diamond, and he dies in sunlight. So, I usually, if I see him, just leave him alone till it gets sunny out, and I'll let the sun do its job. I figure it's safer than me trying to fight it, because it has like 128 points, hit points, which would pretty much kill me. And yes, I have no armor right now. So I am very vulnerable. Don't be mean to me, I'm very vulnerable. Um, but yeah, that's the case of things here. Alright, so maybe I just do uh, a ring of block around the top? Kinda have to see how this looks from outs of doors. Yeah, I think a row of block to finish it off. This chimney needs to either be continued up or use another slope piece to slope it in. I think I'm just gonna continue it up. And I have a couple furnaces busy at work cooking up cobble for me, so I have plenty of stone. I don't know what I'll use for the top of the roof here. Um, I may just go ahead and use pine, which is what I have for the floor, because as you've by now assuredly caught on, I have pretty much an unlimited supply of pine out here. So if I need to use something that's going to use a lot, pine's usually the pick because it's pretty much unlimited. And it's actually, now that I got some other woods, pine is one of the easiest and quickest woods to really stockpile because they're nice straight trees, just one branch right up the center. Super easy to take them down. Like some of these other ones just have branches all over and you're climbing around digging stuff out. So yeah, pine's really easy to get a lot of. I'm going to save decorating that room for an episode of its own. But let's let's step back and take a look here. That looks nice. I feel like at the end of this hall here, it should just be a big window. Wait, I think I did that wrong. That should have been another node higher, shouldn't it? Yep, sure should have. Unless I just leave the ceilings too high here, but I dislike that. I goofed. Goofed big time. Well, I will fix that off camera because no one wants to watch me dig all that up. I wonder if I shouldn't... Nah, I shouldn't. Just need to... Uh, oh well. Um... I know I had glass. Oh, I do still have it. Okay. Let's make... Another lamp post. I believe it was one glass in the center, two torches. Yep. And I believe in with the pine wood, I have fence posts yet. Alright. Let's just throw those in there. And let's light this up. I think we're gonna go ahead and put the lamp right there. So. Ta-da! We have lights. More so than we did before. And that wasn't even really a dark area. 
that thing just kills you. So I think I should uh, go ahead and plant these someplace else. Where I won't be likely to walk into them. I don't know if there's really any value to cacti. Whoops. But I kind of figured, eh. If nothing else, they make them die. I don't think you can eat them or anything. But, eh, useful to have extra things. Alright, so with that done-ish, I don't remember what this was going to be. That should probably just be removed. Let's pull it out. It's just kind of ugly right now. Uh, we, I don't know if I want to put a path all the way through here up to the farmer's place. Probably not. I should, however, put a few more farm things in. So right now I have a wheat field, but there's so many other plants that can be grown. And I feel like uh, I should be growing them. So we'll probably do that in the near future, put another small farm in or a garden. I could put a garden plot in over here or something. Um, but yeah, I think that's actually going to wrap this episode up. I know I usually wait till it's a little later in the day. But we started during the night, so I think that gives me permission to end a little sooner than usual. So thanks for watching. Be sure to visit, guys. Like I mentioned earlier, I now have a travel nut box in the spawn or in the travel center. Swing on over, take a look at the place. Um, it's actually shaping up really nicely. I'm quite pleased with how this is coming together. Uh, I've definitely been learning a lot. There's probably nothing you can learn from my mediocre skills. But, uh, yeah, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts on the builds and, you know, what you like, what you don't like. And, yeah, just going to wrap it up. Thanks for watching. See you next time.